$5,000. Would you drive me up there? I heard you're looking for a ride. This is Tanya Kay, and I'm on Buzz News. Hi, Chicago! I live in California. I live in Hollywood, California, so thanks for allowing me to do a remote interview. I used to live in Chicago, and one of my favorite things about Chicago is that it has the most active harbor in the United States. You would expect the most active harbor in the United States to be on an ocean, but it's on a lake. A great lake. That makes me happy. Another favorite thing about Chicago of mine is it's a major metropolitan area filled with Midwesterners. And it don't get any better than that. I also like that Chicago people are hardy people. Six months of blizzards and subarctic weather <laughs> really brings a community together. In Hollywood, if my battery's dead and I need a jump, I might ask six passers by before somebody stops to help me. But in Chicago, when I lived in Bridgeport on the south side, across from Comiskey Park, uh huh, back then, if my car needed shoveled out of the snow, I just asked my neighbor. Everyone would help me. Hardy people. They got their hearts in the right place. They're hardy. Chicago's hardy. So I am an actress, and I got my start in Chicago professionally. I acted in the Drury Lane Theaters, uh, Theater at the Center, the Theater Building, the Apollo Theater, Peninsula Players, Madison Repertory, it, the list goes on. I also taught dance, and now I also do danger arts. One of the danger arts that I do is knife throwing. And you'll see that coming up. I just did an extremely awesome spot on Spike's Auction Hunters. I think we might have. I'm not going to say for sure, but we might have caught some uh, super high frame rate footage. So the playback on that is beautifully slow. <laughs> Um, just did a spot on Spike's Auction Hunters. My knife throwing duet appeared recently on The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. And that experience was pretty awesome because Conan O'Brien likes the ladies, and I was the lady of our group. So I got a lot of attention and got to improvise uh, with Conan on national television, which was really a lot of fun. Right now, um, I'm doing improv comedy with Second City Hollywood, and I used to go see Second City shows in Chicago, so it was pretty cool to get to improvise with Conan O'Brien uh, during my knife throwing duet. I also crack whips and spin fire and do this crazy grinder act where I grind sparks off my body wearing a metal bikini and I do burlesque and also some really dangerous, uh, ridiculous things to do that most girls don't do, and if they do do, they don't do at this professional level. So I'm like a professional badass, I guess. <laughs> um, improvisation and comedy are strong points of mine. This March 8th, I am starring in a ComedyCentral.com series called Video Game Reunion. If anybody's a Mario Brothers fan, you want to watch us. You like superheroes, you like gamer heroes, you like comic books, Get on this. Video Game Reunion. Google it now. There's a website and everything. And it's going to be March 8th on ComedyCentral.com. I play Princess Peach. Whatever happened to her? Hmm. 
I'll let you know my take on it. I do drama as well out here in Hollywood, California. I've had the absolute pleasure, uh, honor, of playing a lead comedic role in a film called Bold Native. Go to boldnative.com right now. Your son alive and free again before you die. So what's the plan? What are we up to? How are these cells communicating? We've met with everyone face to face. We're trying to go national with this thing. National. If I signed a contract, you would say for $5,000. It initially, this independent film initially placed itself in venues across the nation and it sold out every single one of its shows. And now, for over the past six months, all the screenings that have come up are not the producers placing the show anymore, but fans bringing the show to their venues, their local venues, which just proves that Bold Native, which is the first fictional film about the animal liberation front, is more than just a film. It's a movement, and it really has become a source of community for activists and conscious thinkers and compassionate human beings. I have been vegetarian for 27 years, vegan for 17 of those, and raw vegan for the last eight and a half. Uh, each step of progress was a step of consciousness for me. I didn't go vegetarian for the same reasons I went raw vegan. <clears throat> I'd say I was so young when I went vegetarian that I just did, didn't feel good when I saw meat on the table. Bless the honesty of little kids. My mother was the one who told me I'm a vegetarian. And so obviously that was for the animals. It was uh, like a childhood awareness that there are emotional lives in other beings and no one deserves to feel pain like that or lose their life because I need to eat. I don't need to eat that. I'm a professional dancer. I've thrived as a professional athlete <laughs> for a long time. And I'm a, totally a vegetarian. But uh, when I went vegan, I was on tour with Kenny Rogers. And that was born out of the desire to eat real food. We stopped at this truck stop in the middle of the night and I just was hungry. And I went in there and I looked at the shelves and these aisles and aisles of neon packaging. And I was so angry that I couldn't find any food. And that was the moment that I decided to go vegan. It was my quest for real food. And when I went raw vegan, it was kind of a combination between that society rebellion, questioning the system, as well as uh, human compassion. I decided that I was one of the animals now that I wanted to take care of. And while I was up to it, I was going to take care of the environment, my community, and the way I would like to see this world continue on. It's a very responsible thing to do. Look at me being responsible. <laughs>
I am the lead voiceover in an animated superhero series called Raw Man and Green Girl. This one's great for children. And I play the voice of Green Girl because I'm a raw vegan too and I have superpowers too. You can't stop all of them. Now it's my turn. And the three most powerful foods that the voice of Green Girl can think of are the avocado, pomegranate, and marijuana. Telling it like it is. Here's the, the kitty version. Avocado, pomegranate, and noni. Look it up. My favorite type of wine is biodynamically grown, organically grown wine. Some producers in California that I really appreciate are Impellos, Beckman, Robert Sinsky, Almarosa, Joseph Phelps, and Freestone. There's so many Madonna estates. It goes on. Uh, Eller, Eller's estates, <laughs> Grigich Hills. <laughs> Can I keep going on? I got my wine education in California. I knew nothing about it, and I was working in San Francisco. And every dark day, we just started taking road trips, me and my castmates. And I would drive us through wine country, and it ended up being the most beautiful thing. And you could just stop and learn about wine on the spot in Napa. And they give you, like, tastes of wine and, and excite your senses. I love the sensuality of it, which is essentially why I'm a raw vegan as well, because I'm sensitizing myself. I want to feel more. I want to experience more. I want to be more human. Uh, that extends to my art as well, not just my diet, not just my libations, but my art as well. That's why I'm an actor, because I'm studying humanity. That's why I'm an improvise, act, improvisational actor, because I, I'm fascinated by the human condition that would allow me to spontaneously create and be silly and funny while I'm doing it. Um, I, I'm really valuing humanity right now, and I'm looking beyond the technology the industry and the consumerism that dehumanizes me every day. I'm mad about it, in fact. I'm mad about it, so, I, so I'm going to be a raw vegan, and I'm going to be an artist, and I, I'm going to break all the rules in order to find out how human I am, because I'm pretty sure I'm still human, and that's what makes me fascinating, these experiences. <laughs> I'm an actress. I am a professional dancer and a danger artist. Uh, in my professional dance career, I toured with Stomp for three years out of New York, and I was on national tour. I toured for three years. Uh, every night on stage, I thought to myself, I'm in Stomp. When the lights would go down and the crowd would go wild and they usually jumped even to their feet, because this show is golden, the material is golden. I couldn't believe it, I was living my dreams. The first time I saw Stomp was in Chicago. And I was a teenager and I thought to myself, I would be good in that show. <laughs> I got involved like anybody else would get involved. I flew my butt to New York City and auditioned. Amongst the best of the best, I'm telling you. These people are amazing and a thousand people were at my auditions and they chose three women, and I am very grateful. This is Tanya Kay, this is Buzz News, and I love Chicago. Chicago is filled with greatness. Great stadiums, parks, the lake, all pure Chicago. And so is Rogers Auto Group, famous for exceptional service and their no baloney low price guarantee. No wonder they were chosen Chicago's auto store. Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Hyundai, and quality certified pre-owned vehicles. In the new South Loop, 2720 South Michigan Avenue. Online at rogersautogroup.net. Sweet deal Chicago. Rogers Auto Group, Chicago's auto store.